You're over 40 years old and you're too fat for my taste. I'm not physically attracted to you anymore. I want a divorce. What? Are you going to tell me that you can't live without me? Actually, let's get divorced. Huh? Trouble Busters! Hey, Chunka, can you hear me? What did you just call me? Why don't you respond when I call you? I wish you'd call me by my name. I prefer to call you Chunka. Please don't say that. I can call you what I want. It hurts my feelings when you call me names. Well, you look like a pig in my opinion. I only look this way because of my medical condition. You shouldn't make fun of me. Don't blame it on your illness. That's no excuse. I gained weight because of the medication that I take. Well, you should do something about it because it's not a good look on you. Aren't you embarrassed to look the way that you do? My name is Karen and I'm 43 years old. I got a medical condition in my 20s and I've been taking medication to ease my symptoms. But one of the side effects is weight gain. I graduated from cooking school and was dreaming to become a pastry chef. But I realized that if my main job was to bake and taste cakes, I'd gain even more weight. So I gave up on my dream. After I got married, my husband wanted me to become a housewife. Because of my medical condition, it's not easy for me to conceive. I got fertility treatments, but they weren't working, so I gave up on having children at the age of 40. I wasn't in a happy marriage and asked myself why I was still married to my husband. Since we didn't have any children together, it would be easy to get a divorce. But I've been with my husband for over 20 years and have not had a job after getting married to him, so it would be difficult for me to support myself financially if I were to get a divorce. I'm working late tonight. Okay. I knew that my husband was having an affair. He didn't try very hard to hide it from me. If I'm serious about getting a divorce, I needed to start gathering evidence of his affair. My husband is really stingy and he only gives me enough money to buy groceries and nothing more. So it was difficult for me to hire a private investigator. You're eating pork cutlets. You're crazy. How does that make me crazy? You're a pig and you're eating pork. Doesn't that bother you? I asked you to stop calling me a pig. I don't feel comfortable eating pork cutlets in front of a pig like you. I've lost my appetite. Uh, I'm going out for dinner. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> this isn't the life that I wanted for myself. Your cooking is amazing, Karen. I love it. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You make me so happy. I'm glad that you like it. Karen, will you marry me? That makes me so happy, but I'm not confident because of my illness and the way that I look right now. I'm not marrying you for your looks, Karen. You make me happy. You're beautiful the way you are. You have nothing to worry about. But I might not be able to get pregnant. Doesn't that concern you? As long as I have you by my side, it doesn't matter if we have children or not. <sighs> Hi, Karen. Helen, nice to see you. How are you? Actually, I was planning on coming to see you today. Happy birthday, Karen. Oh, you remembered. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Are you celebrating with your husband tonight? No, no. Birthdays are no longer a big thing now that I'm in my 40s. I'm not even sure if my husband realizes it's my birthday today. Are you sure? I'm sure that your husband wouldn't forget. Is something on your mind, Karen? Well, um, I told Helen how my marriage has been lately. In the end, I told her everything that was bothering me, and I ended up talking to Helen for over 30 minutes. How can he treat you like that? It makes me so mad. Why are you still married to him? I'd leave him if I could, but I don't have any work experience and I can't get a job. I don't think my husband would agree to pay me any alimony. I've got an idea, Karen. Really? Yes, I'm going to help you. I don't want to see you unhappy like this. I'm 44 and jobless. Are you sure that I can get a divorce? Your age doesn't matter. It's never too late to start over. You don't want to spend the rest of your life with someone that you don't love, right? You're right. Thank you for doing this, Helen. Helen was right. I still had half of my life to live. I shouldn't spend it with someone that made me so unhappy. I mean, I have the right to be happy, right? I decided that I wanted to leave my husband, but it wasn't going to be easy. Karen, are you pregnant? What's with the protruding belly? What? Oh, that's right. You can't get pregnant. You're just fat. There are some things that you can joke about, but you shouldn't make fun of a person's appearance. It's sad that you can't get pregnant. Isn't that like every woman's dream? You look pregnant, but it's just fat on your belly. I feel sorry for you, Karen. I really do. <laughs> you're being very hurtful and cruel. You're over 40 years old and you're too fat for my taste. I'm not physically attracted to you anymore. I want a divorce. What? Are you going to tell me that you can't live without me? I mean, you're jobless and have no skills. Actually, you're wrong. Let's get divorced. Huh? What? Gosh, don't take it so seriously. I was only joking. Well, I'm dead serious. Do you know how hard things are going to be for you if you actually get divorced? I do, but it's for the best. I'm happy to move out of this house. Oh, I see. Where are the divorce papers? Do you have them? Not right now. Well, can you sign them and give them to me ASAP then? 
What's gotten into you, Karen? I was thinking about asking you to divorce me, so your timing is perfect. I guess we think alike. I mean, we were together over 20 years. Uh-huh. Is there a problem? You're acting weird. I didn't think that you would say yes to the divorce. Well, I surprised you then. How are we going to pay for your living expenses without a job? Well, I'll get half of our assets from the divorce and I'll start looking for a job right away. What the hell, Karen? What do you mean? You're not making any sense. You only get half of the assets if you contributed in obtaining them in the first place. You haven't done anything to earn any of the assets. You told me to become a housewife and I've been taking care of the house by myself. You've got to be kidding me. All you do is lie down on the couch and watch TV all day. I do not. How would you know? You barely are home these days. I don't plan on sharing my assets with you. Fine, I'm going to consult with my lawyer and see what they say. What the hell? We're getting divorced and I'm going to make sure that I get what I deserve. Fine, have it your way. I can't believe that you're acting this way, but whatever. I didn't care what my husband thought of me. He mistreated me and I was going to get back at him. In the end, we sold our house and divided the money from the sale equally. I rented out a small and affordable apartment. I didn't mind where I lived. I was happy to be away from my dreadful husband. I like your new place. It's comfy. Thanks for helping me move in. Isn't it exciting to start your new life? You're free! It is. I'm just glad that you convinced me to leave my depressing marriage. I feel so much better now. I regret not having left my husband sooner. It's not an easy decision to make. I'm proud of you, Karen. I felt trapped because like, I was unemployed and couldn't do anything to change my situation. My husband only gave me money to buy groceries, so I didn't have the luxury to meet up with my friends even if I wanted to. Well, I'm here now, and we can see each other whenever we want to. The only good thing I got out of my marriage was that we became neighbors and friends. <laughs> Your new life is about to start and things are only going to get better for you. My heart says so. You're right. I'm going to prioritize my own happiness from now on. My husband took 20 years of my life away from me. I wasn't going to let him off easily. I'm not going to forgive him for the way that he treated me. Trouble busters. <laughs> Hello? Why are you calling me? What the hell were you thinking, Karen? I don't know what you're talking about. Is there a problem? You bitch. Do you know how much trouble you've caused me? Stop yelling! I'm no longer married to you. You should treat me with more respect. Where are your manners? People at work are gossiping about the fact that I had an affair. My boss found out and I got fired. I know that you are the one that told my company about this. Well, if they fired you, it must not be a rumor. You really did have an affair. I was up for a promotion. I can't believe that this is happening to me. It's a shame, isn't it? Why are you doing this to me? Why can't you leave me alone? Why would you cheat on me in the first place? It's not what you think. I work hard and provided for you. I wasn't a bad husband. Don't lie to me, and for the record, you were a terrible husband to me. Shut up, Karen. I don't need your feedback. I'm only doing what I need to do in order to move on with my life. I hired a private investigator to look into your affair, so you can't deny any of it. A PI? Aren't you taking things a bit too far? I was able to hire him because I got money from the sale of our house. What's the point in finding out about my affair now? We're already divorced. What do you need to know? Don't you know that you're guilty of your affair for three whole years? What? My ex-husband doesn't know this, but I met his lover and had a chat with her. I wasn't sure what kind of person to expect. I saw in the photos that she had bright green hair. First, I thought she was a punk. I'm not sure why you wanted to meet me. How can I help you? I'm busy. Can we make this quick? Are you having an affair with my husband? Oh, which guy are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> I'm single, so I'm allowed to date whoever I want. I guess they're talking about that guy with the blue hair. We chill out together sometimes. It's fun. I didn't know how to handle the situation. I should have come here with Helen. Um, excuse me. Yes? Was I daydreaming? This woman looks much more decent. Did you... I'm so sorry for all the trouble that I caused you. Oh, I didn't know that... I know that apologizing isn't gonna fix what I did. Please have a seat. I just want to hear your side of the story. Yes, okay. I know that I'm only making excuses, but I didn't know that he was married. I see, so he lied to you. You may not believe what I say, but may I see your chat conversations with my husband? Yes, of course. Here you go. How is your mother feeling? She's doing much better. Can I stay at your place tonight, Melanie? Yes, please do. I can't wait to see you. I'll make us a nice dinner. His mother? He told me that his mother was sick, so he could only see me sometimes. He said that he lived with her in order to take care of her. Both of his parents are already deceased. Oh, so he was lying about that, too. How long were you two seeing each other? Five years. He told me that he wanted to marry me and have kids with me, but no matter how long I waited, he never proposed. I wasn't sure if he really loved me or not. A year ago, I got pregnant, but... But then Aaron told me that it wasn't the right time. He was busy with work and taking care of his mother. He asked me to get an abortion. That's when I decided to break it off with him. What a selfish asshole! I can't believe that he'd ask you to have an abortion! 
Did you go through with it? No, I couldn't, but there were complications. The stress wasn't helping and my baby didn't make it. That's terrible. I'm so mad at Aaron because he promised to take good care of me for the rest of my life. When Aaron found out about the death of our baby, he was nice and promised to be by my side, but he never officially asked me to marry him. Which is what made me think that his feelings for me weren't real. What's well, not your fault if he lied to you about his marital status? Recently, he's been contacting me again and asking me to take him back and then he's finally ready to marry me. That's because we're divorced and he has nowhere to live. Yeah, that would make sense. He's been staying at my place a lot these days. I'm trying to say no, but he won't listen. I feel awful. Had I known that he was married to you, I never would have started anything with him. Will you please take this? These are my savings. There's $20,000 in this envelope. I hope that's enough. If you need more, please let me know. I know that money doesn't change anything, but... I'm the reason that you're divorced now and I feel terrible. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Melanie, I can't accept your money. Why not? I mean, Aaron lied to you. If anything, you're a victim here too, just like me. But I need to make it up to you. What I did was still wrong. I accept your apology, but I can't accept the money. It doesn't feel right. I had a horrible marriage and I'm glad to be divorced from Aaron. I'd feel better if you just listened to my story, too. Yes, of course. I can't believe that Aaron would treat you like that. It's not your fault that you fell ill. I'm so angry at him. That's not all. There's more? Yes, and it's pretty shocking. You're not the only one he was having an affair with. Oh. Aaron's an elementary school teacher and he's dating the mother of one of his students. In this case, they were both married and knew what they were getting themselves into. I'm not going to forgive the other woman. You have every right to be angry with her. I guess he just wanted to sleep around. It could have been anyone. My relationship with Aaron is a complete sham. It's completely up to you how you want to handle things with Aaron. I'm no longer married to him, so you don't have to worry about my feelings anymore. I have no intention of getting back together with Aaron. I sense that something was off and I'm not going to go back to him. Do you want to work together to get back at him? Oh, if you were pregnant with his baby, you have every right to sue him too. You have a point. I have a friend who works as a florist, but she also has a lot of knowledge about marriage law. She'll be able to help us out. If we work together, we can teach Aaron a lesson for what he did to us. Yes, he needs to know that what he did was wrong. You don't need to decide right away. I just think that it's unfair if he gets away with everything that he did to us. He needs to be punished. I understand and I feel the same way. I'm in. So that's why Melanie asked me to never call her again. She told me that she was moving and that she didn't want me to come looking for her at her new place. You're so full of yourself, it disgusts me. I know that you're trying to ruin my life, but do you see how sad that makes you? I just told the school the truth about you. I didn't do anything wrong. They had a right to know. I can't believe this. I'm unemployed and it's all your fault. You're an adult and you need to take responsibility for your actions. The woman that I was seeing, her husband found out and he divorced her. Do you enjoy ruining other people's lives? Well, that's your problem, not mine. I don't have a job or a place to live. What am I supposed to do now? Melanie's also suing me. I owe so many people money. You shouldn't have cheated on me then. You should have divorced me sooner. Then you could have slept around and no one would have cared. I didn't think that you would find out. Well, I did. This isn't all my fault. What do you mean by that? Well, you can't get pregnant. Do you know how that made me feel? That's why I told you that we shouldn't get married, but you said that it didn't matter whether we had children or not. A part of me believed that you'd get pregnant. I didn't think that we'd actually be barren. Well, you can believe what you want, but it doesn't make it my fault. And you continued to gain more weight after we got married. I began to date other women because you're undesirable, and that's on you. You're unbelievable, Aaron. That's right. This isn't all my fault. What the hell is your problem? You caused us to drift apart. Are you for real? I may not have been a loving husband, but I still supported you financially. That's got to count for something. You're the one that wanted me to be a housewife. If I had a choice, I would have gone out and got myself a job. Shut up, Karen. I don't have to listen to you anymore, Aaron. I'm done talking to you. Same here. If we need to talk more, let's do so in court. I'm more than prepared to take you to court. You can't try to threaten me in that way. It's not going to work. I know that I can't give you any children and that I'm not exactly skinny. Perhaps a part of that is because I didn't make enough of an effort like you say. But I was honest about these two things when you proposed to me and you told me that you wanted to marry me anyway. I guess, but... You had no right to make fun of me during our marriage. It wasn't fair of you to do that. I was depressed throughout most of our marriage. You have no idea how much you hurt me. I admit that I wasn't a good husband to you, but now that we're divorced, I realize that what I did to you was wrong. Well, I'm glad that you see that now. I also realize that I'm still in love with you, Karen. Would you consider getting back with me? I know that you're only saying that because you're jobless and homeless. I'm not an idiot. You were yelling at me a few minutes ago. It hurts to see that you're moving on from me. I still want to be with you. Well, I don't care. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have cheated on me with different women. I promise to change for the better. Let's get back together. 
when we were still dating, you were so nice to me and you told me that it didn't matter that I was overweight. That made me happy. That's how I really felt. And even after we got married, I believed that you still loved me even though you weren't as nice as you used to be. It means a lot to hear you say that. So does this mean that you're willing to give us another shot? Can I come and see you now? No, I don't want to see you ever again. What? But you... Let me be clear, I have no intention of getting back with you. Wait, I thought that... Well, you thought wrong. But why? I'm going to ask you to pay me a total of $45,000 for your affairs. I don't have that kind of money. Other people are already suing me. I don't care. I'm going to have so much debt. Please calm down and be reasonable here. If we get back together, I'll be the perfect husband to you this time. I promise. I don't care. I have no interest in getting back with an unfaithful, condescending, and jobless loser like you. I need your help, Karen. I'm in a lot of trouble. Please! No way! Go to hell, Aaron! I'll do anything! I'm begging you! The only thing that I want from you right now is the money that you owe me, and don't ever call me again! Please don't do this, Karen! We've been together for two decades! Doesn't that mean anything to you? Actually, I hate you for wasting 20 years of my life! Karen! I'm hanging up now. Bye, Aaron! Karen! Through my lawyer, I got Aaron to agree to the alimony payments. Aaron couldn't pay the amount in a lump sum, so I agreed to accept payments and installations. Thank you for all your help on my case. I'm glad that you got what you asked for. Karen! What are you doing? Stop following me around! We need to talk! Well, I have nothing to say to you. I need you in my life. Please take me back. I can't live without you! Leave me alone, Aaron. I want nothing to do with you. I'm not leaving until you take me back! Stop harassing me! I need you to come with me. Karen, help me! Karen! Are you alright? Yes, thank you, Helen. I think you should get a restraining order issued against Aaron. You're right, I'll get that done. I took Helen's advice and issued a restraining order against Aaron. A few days later, I received a creepy letter from him. I recognized the handwriting. Karen, I owe you $45,000. Melanie, $12,000, and my other lover's husband, $25,000. The total amount I owe is $82,000. I need your help with this. I can't do it on my own. I still love you and think about you every day. Will you please come back to me? He's so desperate and won't give up. He doesn't seem to understand I want nothing to do with him. I told the police about this, and Aaron got an additional fine of $10,000. I can't believe that you're moving out of this town. I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you too. Will you please take this? Is it a cupcake? Yes, freshly baked this morning. This looks so good. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> this cupcake is delicious, Karen. You should totally sell these. You're really talented, Karen. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Helen. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to start over. <laughs> I'm going to miss you so much. Come visit me, okay? Of course I will. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Yes, take care as well. Melanie's family manages a pastry shop, and I'm going to work there. It's so funny that you ended up being friends with Aaron's ex-lover. I know, but Melanie's a really nice person. We get along really well. When I baked her some cookies, she told me that I was really talented and suggested I work for her family. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Melanie's mother is in the hospital right now, so they were looking to hire someone as her replacement. I'm definitely going to visit you. I want to eat your cupcakes again. Yes, I can't wait. Same here. I should get going now. This is how I became a pastry chef. I was so happy because it was always my dream to become one. My workplace is close to kindergartens and elementary schools, so children come to the shop to buy their pastries after school. I know I'm not able to have children of my own, but it makes me happy to see kids come to my shop with big smiles on their faces. Trouble Busters.